I've got to do this. I got to do it for the boys back home. All right, I got this. How low are we? All right, we gotta get lower. Get low, get low, get low, get low, get low, get low to the window, to the wall. Holy crap, we did it. <laughs> yes. Don't worry, boys, I'm coming back home. I just crossed the border. What is up, squad? To part two of the World War II mods for Unturned, and holy crap, look at all these cars and planes and boat. Uh, anyways, if you haven't seen part one, it's the clothing and weapons mod. A link to the uh, video will be in an annotation on the top of the screen. Um, so let's get right. Let's get started. Uh, we got the United States vehicles. Oh yeah, I've uh, organized these into. Uh, like, uh, United States, Germany, civilian, and then, uh, planes in the back, and then boats. Um, so first off, we have the American-captured BMW R75, with a sidecar, of course. Uh, it has two seats, and it's pretty much a motorcycle, just with three wheels and an extra, extra seat for someone. Uh, you could also have the second person bring out a gun and, uh, pretty much shoot and mow down anyone on the, uh, on the street. Looks pretty nice. And then over here is just the BMW R75 with no sidecar. I, re I really love motorcycles in this game. Like, uh, this one looks like the regular WLA motorcycle for uh, the Indian. Um, next we have the American Willys Jeep. I'll, uh, just called Jeep in the mod. Uh, it has, this is the one with the star the white star, as you can see, the one over there doesn't have a star. Uh, it has four seats, or I, I think there's actually more. Um, it might be five seats. One, two, three, four, five, you know what I'm saying. Um, I am a big fan of Willys Jeeps. I mean, I think they're a very unique vehicle compared to what they are they are today, today like regular Jeeps. And uh, everyone can have their gun out and mow everyone down. Um, Rain, creator of the mod, if you are watching this... What would be sweet to see is like a um like a gunner seat on the back, and it it doesn't have to be where you can shoot from the gun. It could be like where someone can pull their brownie out and shoot it, and it just looks like they're sitting up there and shooting everybody down. That'd be pretty sweet. Here is the regular Willie's Jeep version. Uh, it's same uh, as that, but without the stars. Pretty cool. The next, we have the Allied Transport Vehicle. Um, a lot of people might see this as like a Ural from like Arma or Daisy. Uh, that's pretty much what it is. It's used to transport people and supplies and um, can hold a lot of weight. Let's see if we can get in here. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Next, we have the Sherman Chassis. Um, the chassis, chassis, I think, is, um, where you're able to go into the driver's seat and have this thing out, and it's pretty much like a gun, where it shoots rails, which I think is pretty, oh, which I think is pretty nice, um, it's a pretty good ammo type, I guess you could say, uh, it could work, it drives and all, the only thing it has is, there's no turret, and, uh, that's pretty cool. Next, we have the Sherman, like the full tank. Uh, it has the, it has a turret and something awesome in this. You can get in the driver's seat, and the thing actually like turns. You can press A and D, and it the uh, turret turns. And when you left click, it makes a firing sound. Let's try and shoot that tree. I sort of failed. It doesn't shoot anything. It's just a visual effect. You know, it's pretty cool, but, um, Rain, again, if you are watching this, making them shoot would be amazing. Alright, we're moving on to the Germans. Okay, these are the German vehicles. Starting off, we have the Kubelwagen. Um, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced something else in German. It's like Kubelwagen, I want to say. Don't judge me. <laughs> um, this is the regular version, and then that's a tan right there. Um, I think it's four seats. Uh, if you have, like, a full squad of Germans in there, it looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, spare tire. Uh, it just looks like the tire. There's no, um, 
middle part. I don't know what that's called. Sorry. I'm, I'm the wheel, I guess. I, I guess that's what you can say. Um, I have no idea what that is, but it looks kind of cool. <laughs> uh, and then here's the tan version of that one. It's pretty much uh, the same thing, just with a different color. All right, and now here is the regular BMW R75, not cap not the one that are captured by the Americans. Here's just a regular uh, in the tan color, and there's also the um, there's also the um, the R75 with a sidecar on it. And me personally, I like the the green one better, with or without the sidecar. That's just me. Um, now we have the German transport vehicle. Again, I, I, I like I like the green better. It blends in with the uh, surrounding area way better. But again, that's just me. That's just me. And here we go. We have the big beast, the tiger. The king tiger, as it was known in World War II. This is the tiger chassis. Again, this is for um, bringing this thingy out. Uh, the turret. And you can go in there and pull this out and pretty much shoot it. It has its own scope on it, like real tanks. I thought that was pretty cool. And um, on this, oh. <laughs> and on this one right here, this one has the turret. And as you can see, like the all the detail, like this looks so cool. And uh, all this stuff over here, like you got a shovel, you got a jerry can, you have like what seems to be some like bag racks or something uh, entrance. Or wait, is that the... No, that's like the engine. Um, some more shovels and an axe. And then more bag racks. That's why I may just call them bag racks. Oh, oh god, oh god. And then same thing with this one. Turret moves. And, uh... First person looks pretty sick. Oh, and there's lights. Uh, let's shoot something. Same tank noise, or the same firing noise as the Sherman. And now that's it for the German uh, German vehicles. Let's go check out the civilians. Okay, here are the civilian vehicles. Start off, we have a police car, 1940 police car. And what I really love about this, it has it has the cutest and uh, like horn noise or siren noise ever. Sorry, it's a little ear rape. So, <laughs> um. It looks sort of like a, um, I don't know what they're called, bullet? No, that's not what it's called. I have no idea. Um, like, uh, the sedan over there, it sort of looks the same. Like the same model. I think it might be, actually. Um, alright, so that's the police car. The next is the, um, the Roadster, 1940 Roadster. Uh, this one's in red. It'd be cool if all, or it'd be cool if all these civilian vehicles, except for the cop car, I guess that one can say. Uh, I get, I wish that all these could be like different colors. I think that'd be pretty sweet. Um, this is like this is a Lamborghini of the 1940s here, folks. And uh, you got like your car sign right there. I have no idea what these are. I'm pretty sure these are either made from Ford or Volkswagen. Um, Volkswagen obviously being a German model of a car like this one right here. I think I sw I think this is called the um Volkswagen Beetle. I want to say um this is the black version or the dark gray version. I don't know. And um yeah, this is the Volkswagen Beetle. And Volkswagen in German means people's car. You learn something new every day. The uh, inside interior here. I want to check that out really quick. Look at those, uh, all those dials. I, th I think that looks pretty cool. Aw, oh, such a cute little horn. Now onto the last truck is the pickup truck. The 1940 pickup truck. This one is in some sort of like navy blue color. Uh, it looks navy blue to me. I'm colorblind a little bit, so please correct me in the comments. Uh, I'm not sure how many seats there is here, 
But I'm sure you can fit two up front and, uh, like, maybe three. Three in the back, maybe two on each side and one right there. I have no idea. All right. That is it for the civilian cars. Now for the awesome part. All right. Right here we have the landing craft, also known as the Higgins boat. Uh, I would have used this thing in the D-Day landing yesterday. Um... But I was having issues, like, it would literally just, you would spawn it in, and the thing would go like, <laughs> Alright, sorry about those sound effects, but uh, it pretty much just went flying into the air. Um, let's take this thing down to the beach and see how, how it is. Alright, so I'm literally down here at the beach, and I just tried to spawn another one in. And this is pretty much what I was explaining back there. It would spawn and it just goes like. <laughs> so uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to show you the landing craft today. Rain, if you're watching this, please look into this. I, it, it's been like this for the past few days. I don't even know why that one's still like alive, but it is. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm s sincerely sorry about that. I know all you wanted to see that landing craft and do another D-Day landing. But um, just can't happen today. All right, looks like we're sadly going to have to go to the next category. Voice crack. All right, starting from the right side of the planes, we have the P P-51D-30 Mustang. This is a, um, a fighter jet plane with, um, I believe it's only cannons. As in cannons, I mean these guns right here. Uh, no bombs. Propeller is just like a gigantic one. What'd be cool is if an enemy ran into the propeller, they'd get destroyed like that one dude did in Indiana Jones. And uh, let's see if we can. Oh, okay. You know what? We're just going to get in. So this is the pilot seat right here. I feel amazing when I'm in here. Oh, no. I didn't want to do that. All right. Next, we have the BF-109. Uh, I have no idea what kind of plane this is. Um, this might just be a bomber. It looks a lot like a bomber. Um, it's one-seater. Let's check this side here. All these planes are really cool. They're, like, really high-detailed. Let's check this out. Okay, okay, what was that? Okay. I accidentally left click, and it made a gun gun sound. So I guess this is also a fighter jet or fighter plane. I have no idea. Uh, this one has dials, unlike the other one, the um, uh, Mustang. This one actually has dials. I don't think they work, but that'd be sweet if they did. Uh, propeller is is that the same size? I have no idea. That it looks cool right there. That's cool. All right, now, the next one, I believe this is a um, P-51. P-51 or a Spitfire? No, this is a two-seater Mustang. Okay, okay. P-51, two-seater Mustang. Um, so this is just like that first one over there. Um, allied, I guess. Allied version. And it's got two seats. You can have to... Oh. You can have someone in a browning on the back here and just be like, pfft, mowing everyone down. And then uh, you up here can be like the professional pilot, duck diving under brid bridges and all that. Oh, didn't want to do that. See, again, personally, I like the green more than all those other colors. That's just me. That's just me. Next, we have the... This is the Spitfire. Yeah, okay. The Spitfire... MK XIV. Um, the this is the Spitfire MK fourteen. That's what those Roman numerals are. <laughs> if those are Roman numerals, uh, it just doesn't stand for something else. But uh, this is the French flag right here. So I'm gonna guess that this was made by the French. Um, oh wow, that is a gigantic gun. That what is that? That looks. 
I think that's just an engine, but that looks sick. Um, I think those are... Bomb? No, never mind. That, it's just like, that gun is gigantic. Uh, alright, yeah, I'm, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> Let's get right into the cockpit here. Is there two seats? Is there two seats? Aw, oh, man. Oh, the dials in here look so cool. There's lights, I guess. Oh, this one doesn't have guns, though. See? Oh. Uh-oh. I can't get out. I can't get out. I can't get out. Alright, so I couldn't get out. I had to restart the server and the game. Uh, it was only, like... It was, like, five minutes for me and only, like, half a second for you guys. So, sorry about that. Uh, I can't get into that anymore because I don't want to do that process all over. And now, for the Sky... Sky Train... I'm gonna say Sky Train. Da, 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 the Sky Trooper. This thing is gigantic. The, these things were used by uh, pilots to transport the airborne over Normandy, and um, not just over Normandy, but other places when they drop out. Um, anyways, when you get in, there's like a green and red light. I think right there. Um, red light means just. I think it was like red light, get ready, and then green light, you go and jump. And this thing is gigantic. Let's count how many seats there are. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten seats. Of, um, there's technically only eight. I guess up here is like pilot and co-pilot. Oh, God. There's a pilot and co-pilot. And just look at this gigantic thing. It's so gigantic. I just can't get over how big that is. And like... I guess, uh, they're also made with, like, a um, bunch of grass in them. As you can see, they're, they're all, like, stuck in the in the grass. Nah, I think it's just a um, glitch because it's, like, downhill. Um, got a gigantic wheel here. Oh, oh I'm inside a wheel. Alright, let's go in the driver's seat. Uh, if it wants to let me... There we go. Alright, let's see if we can see the green light. Alright, there's a green light. Can I, like, click anything? Oh my god! That is so cute! <laughs> it's the Band of Brothers theme song. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear that over the engine and me screaming. But the Band of Brothers theme song is playing. Okay, you know what? <laughs> that is so sick! Oh my god, Rain. If you were watching this, I really love what you did at that. That's so awesome. <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Time for the grand finale. Dun, dun, dun. I started this war by killing Germans in Africa. Then France. Then Belgium. Now I'm killing Germans in Germany. I'm not a nerd. Alright, so pretty much what I did is I took this um, Sherman turret. And I have pretty much gave myself, like, a, a buttload of, um, of rails, because that's what this thing shoots. And now we're going to just destroy everything. Uh, I really hope this part gets recorded. I, I should probably double check. Yep, I'm recording. Start off with that. Alright, and I missed. That's embarrassing. Alright, alright. That's taking way too long. You guys all know what would be faster than this. Oh yeah, you know what I'm thinking, right? Flamethrower! Alright, squad. That's going to be the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed this mod review. Um, I really love World War II, and World War II mods for some of my favorite games are probably the best. Uh, anyways, like, comment, become a member of the squad by subscribing, and uh, links to all the mods are in the description. And goodbye.